Collaborations, as we know, are fundamental to building a better community, and it certainly has been no more evident than these past 18 months. And I can tell you one thing for sure, QP Local 82 has been a terrific partner with the City of Windsor. Over the years, we have hosted various public meetings and surveys to solicit feedback from our residents. And one consistent theme that has come up is the desire for better lighting at our public parks. It's important that these spaces are well lit with high quality, energy efficient light fixtures that give residents improved visibility, extended hours of activity, and of course, a sense of safety and security. And that's why I'm very, very pleased to announce that City Council is investing $1 million between 2020 and 2022 to improve lighting and increase the number of light fixtures at public parks throughout the entire city. This funding includes contributions from the capital budget, ward funds, and support from community partners like QP Local 82. It means that 14 public parks will benefit from new solar powered lights or energy efficient LED fixtures. And what's great about these solar fixtures is that they are completely off grid, powered entirely by natural sunlight, which aligns nicely with our corporate climate change action plan to reduce energy emissions from municipal operations. Starting high school in, in grade nine and I lived, I lived down Coronation Street at Glendale and Coronation and I came down Coronation Street and through this this area and this was just a big empty field way back in the day and uh, look at the improvements now that we have uh, with a terrific park behind us that was put in a few years ago and these lights and the public safety factor and uh, you know certainly the collaboration that uh, that we have right now with uh, our parks department local 82 a guy and i sat down on this about uh, 18 months ago and said which way do we want to go here uh, working with the with the ward councillor and the qp local 82 on a on, a, on an improvement to the area and then this is a fantastic situation here that we have moving forward the war renewal initiative started in 2015 uh, started in ward two since then we've done every year reached out to councillors and um, found some type of project that they were interested in working with to make this city a better place to stay in and this is the latest installment with the lights. Anything that helps the safety of the city, its citizens, visitors, is always a good thing.